From 300 feet away, our guests heard the explosion that sank the USS Arizona. It was December 7th, 1941, and Joan Zuber Earl was nine years old living on Fort Island in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. What was it like living on Fort Island at nine years old? It was just peaceful. We had a wonderful school that we went to. We did a lot of things together. There was also the fear of, of something happening. That we, we had air raid drills out there. And that's one thing that people don't really know about, that we did have air raid drills on Fort Island. Why don't you share with us the story of the attack? I was sitting out on the lanai of the house, reading the paper. And suddenly, I, I looked at out to the side of the house, down towards the, um, the buildings on the other part of the house, I saw smoke, and it looked like the water tower was on fire. So I ran in to tell my dad that the water, my mother, that the water tower was on fire. But she was busy. She was in the bed, and she was kind of turned around looking out the window, and she was wondering what those puffs of smoke were doing coming off the West Virginia. So I, I, I ran out, I turned around and ran out, ran out the front door to get a good look. Mm -hmm. And actually, at that time, the Japanese plane came over my head. So I ran and tell my mother out again. And by that time, she had left her room, and she was down talking to my dad. My dad looked out the window, he saw it, he yelled at us to get to the shelter. We couldn't make it to the shelter, we got maybe maybe two or three hundred yards around the corner, down in front of the BOQ, and the bullets, I remember my mother putting her arms around us and holding us around the shoulder, and, and we, there were bullets flying, so they told us to come into the uh, uh, BOQ, and we were in the BOQ underneath that kitchen table when the Arizona exploded, and I told you that was that was horrifying. I remember I was crying and my mother was telling me not to cry because I would spoil the morale of the men that were in the room. And they took us by truck to the shelter. We were there during the whole of the attack. After the attack was over, what did they do to help keep you occupied? In the afternoon, they had us kids. We were sitting out on the patio in front of this new bachelor office quarters. and. And they had us loading machine guns. Mm -hmm. It was something for us to do. We'd get our minds off of what we'd already seen. Now you, you wrote a book, The Children of Battleship Row, mm -hmm. and it took you many years to write it. What was your thinking for taking so long? Well, I was just in between the children, and also the memory, and then Peggy and my sister and I, she's 14 months older than I am, would talk about it and discuss what was going to happen. And, uh, then I started taking writing classes, and I went to uh, uh, I went to the uh, Squaw Valley Community of Writers, and worked on it there. It just took a while. And you've been teaching for many years. I think we met tw almost twenty years ago. Is there a particular story that you purposely do not tell the students? The sailor came walking by and asked us if he wanted to see the dead jack out in the front yard, mm -hmm. uh, and we went out to. Look, my mother said it was okay. We asked my mother, she said it was okay. So we went out and we remember looking at him and trying to find out where the, um, the um, what killed him, where the puncture was, where, where the shot gone in, what, what had happened to him. And just the idea that, it, to me, it, he wasn't even dead. I mean, to me, it was just like, um, it was just, he was like the enemy. It was just, it's where you lose all your humanity, where you just, really forget, you know, I mean, were you, this was the, the one thing that target that we could address and we didn't think about him as being human or alive or anything like that. Uh, your story is so unique. What can we do to help keep it alive? Well, the story of Pearl Harbor, I think, will stay alive. The reason why I wrote the book was that nobody knew about the children and the, the story had never been told. And actually, uh, it was, came as a surprise to somebody that there were even children out there on Fort Island. But I wanted to tell the story because it, before it was lost forever. Well, thank you so much for allowing us to spend this time with you and be in your beautiful house. Oh. <laughs>